Shalom everyone, this is your boy, your friend, your brother, friendship with African Yashara. So to this topic, I'm going to be talking about um, Joy Morgan, yeah, so she was a 21 years old, I think, uh, student in London. The worst thing is that she's from London, and I'm based in London, and I'm going to be honest with y'all, I've seen the post about it. You know what I'm saying? A couple of times, but I didn't really know because, because, like, I was thinking she was in America and stuff, you know what I'm saying? But I've watched the news and I saw that her mom was speaking and then she sounded English and then that's on English TV. So I'm like, hang on, what's going, what, what's going on? You see what I'm saying? So apparently she was missing for like two months, Joy Morgan, yeah? She was missing for two months, something like that, yeah? And then they found out that. Um, one forty-year-old guy, yeah, killed her, and apparently this guy is from IUIC. For those who don't know how IUIC, IUIC is a Hebrew Israelite camp. Now, I don't really, I don't, I don't actually identify myself as a Hebrew Israelite, although I do believe, yeah, that uh, black people, or should I say, the Negroes, are the descendant of the Israelite. Yes. But I don't identify myself with these camps because most of the time they're really anti-Africans and all that, you know what I'm saying? And although the brother that killed her, killed this sister was an African, you know what I'm saying? He's from West Africa. I think it's Nigerian. But that's not the case. Uh, the thing is that this is, this is something that we need to speak about. Like, despite the fact that um, people want to get to this truth and then they follow these camps and all that. But there's a deeper, there's a deeper um, problem. Is that us black men, we disrespecting black women on a day-to-day -day basis. We participating, yeah, in the oppression of our women. Do you actually get the thing? That's crazy. It makes no sense. White men are participating in the oppression of black people, period. Yeah. But on the top of that, as our oppressed people, yeah, the men in, in the community, in the black community, are participating in the oppression of their own women. Do you see? I mean, all communities is that way. But especially us, yeah, these are things that we, we've been perpetuating for a long time. Yeah, for a long time. You see what I'm saying? And this needs to stop. All the time we're hearing these kind of stories about uh, black girls missing and all that. And then apparently the boyfriend killed her, blah, 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 and all that. It, that's crazy. That's all crazy. And I don't understand how can a 40-year-old man kill a 21-year-old? I don't get it. I don't get it. What was the purpose of that? You see what I'm saying? We need to wake up. If we are in, if, if we are going to be in this truth, and then we're going to follow the Torah and Bible, and then with the chosen people, we got to do it right. We got to do it properly. These things cannot continue. And these camps, all the time, these camps, these Hebrews are at camp. When they go outside and even online, they're posting stuff about black women are a piece of shit, black women are this and that, this and that. But when they're praising these, these other women, the Latinos women that they believe that they're Israel, but they're not. Yeah. Uh, when they're praising these other women and, you know what I'm saying, I, I don't see them saying, oh, the Latino woman is a piece of crap, blah, 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 blah. She should shut up, blah, 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 blah. No, they don't do these kind of things. But it's only black women. And now, look what y'all did. Yeah? Look what y'all did. Yeah, the black woman is a piece of shit. You just show the world that you really think that black woman is a piece of shit. Because you killed one. Cold blood. I don't care what she did. She didn't deserve, deserve, deserve death. I'm sure. And for a 40 year old to kill a 21 year old, that's nuts. That's nuts. And, and a lot of black men speaking on these things. I'm going to say period. Yeah. 
when especially when it's a dark skinned sister, yeah, black man out of the background, not really talking, not not really saying anything, you know what I'm saying? Obviously reading his truth, yeah, and I see that and I saw a lot of brothers speaking out on these things about you know what I'm saying, because obviously we need truth, bro. When it happens in the black community most of the time, black men are silent. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's the truth. We ain't really speaking on it. The sisters are, are screaming out, screaming out, yeah, this and that, you know what I'm saying? Because they feel concerned because they know and they they going through these kind of things most of the times. They going through the oppression, you know what I'm saying, um, by, I mean, they going through being oppressed by black black men. You know what I'm saying? So the sisters are more vocal on that thing and black men were not and we should because that's we supposed to defend our women. But we not. We are here talking about how we love the the biracial women and the the the, the Latino women and the white women and all that crap. When most of your piece of crap comes from black women. If you black. You know what I'm saying? We hate ourselves. And we hate our women. We make no sense. Black men gotta take accountability for these kind of things. Like, real talk. It's not even a game. We have to. A sister like this, that is, that is young, gonna die. I mean, he's dead. For no reason. Because black men have a, have a, have a lack of self-love or, or respect for their own women. You see what I'm saying? I don't really speak on these things, but when I saw, first of all, when I saw that the sister was dead because they were saying that she was missing and all that, and when I saw that she was dead and she got killed by her brother, I was like, you know what? I gotta speak on it. Cause this YouTube channel is not about, um, it's not too much about um, black power and all that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, you know, pro black and all that. I'm born to the scriptures, and you know what I'm saying. But when these things happen, we have to speak out on it, especially us men. This is our responsibility, and I'm not talking about us men. I'm talking about us black men. This is our community. We're the guardians of this community, and especially when we in this truth, especially when we identify as Yashara or Hebrew Israelite. We have to speak out on these things. If we're going to be in this truth, we got to do it properly. And that's one thing. Most of you brothers out there in these camps and all that, walk around like, yeah, I'm a Hebrew Israelite. I'm the seed of Jacob, blah, blah, blah. But she ain't acting like one. And one thing I want to say is that these camps, yeah, these camps are low-key Freemasons. It has been proven. These, all these camps, not even one is going to save the other. Yeah? GMF, BMF, and all that crap, and all these names. Yeah, the most I never said that we got to make camps anyway. Yeah? And then give names like gangs names and all that. You know what I'm saying? These camps are low-key Freemasons. So when we hear that that sister got kids and all that, it, it, it shouldn't even be a surprise. You know what I'm saying? In the first place, when you really think about it, mm? these camps are under the government. They are, and most of you people, especially your sisters, I don't know what you do with this. When these men are, I have a sister. Listen to me, yeah. If you're in the camp, when these men are, I have on the street corners preaching that black women a piece of shit and stuff. I don't know how you can join them. Because you're gonna end up like 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 this sister. When these men have this kind of talk, this you you can't stay with them. Even though you submissive or whatever, and then you like to be uh, violated or whatever, because there are women like this out there. I, I don't I don't know, but anyway, yeah. You can't stay with these people because they will take your life one day. Goes back to what we're saying, black men don't disrespect, don't even respect black women. And you know what? In this society, yeah, that's there, there, there's a thing that our woman, the black woman, especially the dark skinned woman, she has been sexualized 
and then um, also mistreated. And like the way that she's portrayed in movies and and on social media and, and, and in people's mind, yeah, that's the reason why these kind of things happen. Because we think that the black man don't is not is nothing. And especially black men first. And I'm saying it again, we cannot participate to the oppression of our women. It makes no sense. No sense at all. Black men needs to wake up. I'm not playing. I'm serious. And especially if you are in this truth. Yeah, because in the scriptures, it's, it's mentioned nowhere that you got to beat up your woman and this kind of stuff. And if you're saying that, you're a liar. This is not mentioned. It is mentioned that you got to love your wife and you got to provide for your people. If you do not, it's like you're a non-believer. This is what is, is, is written in our scriptures. Yeah, got to take care of the widow. Yeah, and of the fatherless and stuff like that. Show mercy. Righteousness, this is what it, it is written in our scriptures. So if you are here beating up black women and all that, the daughters of Zion, yeah, if you are doing these things, you are not dealing with the most high. You're dealing with Satan. You're dealing with a demon. That's what you are. If, you start, if That's what you're doing out here, brother. You see what I'm saying? Once again, I want to say sorry also. Uh, I didn't even say anything about it, but I want to say sorry. Uh, to her family and all that, yeah. <clears throat> I think they're trying to raise sounds and stuff, yeah. Uh, I don't, I don't know if I have to go found on my thing. I try, I try to get it or some some way, some ways, yeah. But, <clears throat> but I seen it on other YouTube channels and stuff like that online. If you look for it, you can find it. You can help the family. You see what I'm saying? And once again, I feel sorry and my condolences to the family. May the most high keep um the soul of our sister and may she obtain salvation when uh the resurrection comes. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So I could say more about these things, yeah, but I think that's it. That's what I wanted to say. You see, I didn't even write anything. <laughs> Usually I write things on papers and you know what I'm saying, I know what I'm saying, but I just wanted to speak from my heart. Because I think that enough is enough. I really think enough is enough. And it's especially if we are in this truth. Yeah. We're doing it right. The right way. And please, people, come out of these camps. It makes no sense. You better off buying yourself scholarships, books, and read the, the word the word by yourself in your house or with, with friends. And you know what I'm saying? Like, deep into the word by yourself. They're not teaching you anything. For real, these camps not teaching any good thing. Talk about Esau is the white man and all that crap. And then talk about Twitter chart charts and all that crap, which is not even true. And all these false doctrines that they they preach and teach on street corners makes no sense. When you read the scriptures, it's, 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 it's contrary to what they preach in these camps and what they teach. You see what I'm saying? So... I don't know what to say to y'all, but <clears throat> rest in peace, sister Joel, yeah, and for the brother that did that that did harm to her, yeah, he's going to get his recompense at the end. You know what I'm saying? We are going to be judged for according to our works as it is written, yeah? So, there you go, yeah? <clears throat> I don't have nothing to say about his brother, but all I can say is that, please, black men, we need to wake up and we need to stop participating to the oppression of our women. We already an oppressed people, <laughs> yeah, as a whole. So we're not going to double up the oppression of our people. You see what I'm saying? It's time to man up, like man up for real, for, for these things to not happen again. Yeah? So, shalom to y'all. Shalom.